Hello everybody, Kane here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs and moving the chair. We are back today on the world with some updates. Da da da! Anyway, uh, first off, I should just change my skin back to the normal one because, you know, I'm a smart person. Anyway, um, I'm up there. <laughs> I was up here because I finished the wall because, um, well... I don't know, it's been like a week since the last episode, and I felt like it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I blended the wall into there. This actually looks way cooler now. I really, 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 really like it. Um, I built I, I built stone wall. Stone wall, go round base now. <laughs> so someone did, I, I think I already talked about this last one. Someone was like, why are you building the stone wall here? Why not just put the Parasaurolophus fence here? Because this looks awesome, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> I love it a lot, because, I mean, why not? It, it, it's cool. Anyway, so since then, I also added in a bit of a pathway going this way, which is now going this direction, B because I, I kind of forgot the fence is meant to go diagonal when I was building this. Also, can we just take a minute to uh, look at this and just admire how cool this looks? I mean, I might just be, you know, having a bit of a, I don't know, what would you call it? brain meltdown because I've been looking at this now for like 20 minutes and I may not look as good as my brain is telling me it is, but I like it. It's cool. I think this is going to be a really good exhibit. Now, yes, you will hear the Parasaurolophus from uh, the other side, which you might say, well, what's the point in that then? Well, if we're to actually put a dinosaur zoo in real life, you and if par we're correct on how par hadrosaurs like Parasaurolophus made sounds, you you hear this guy from way farther away in real life. Like, heck, you'd probably, like, get, like, within a mile of the zoo and Parasaurolophus sounds would start going off and you'd just be like, what's happening? Why are we being invaded by aliens? And, yeah, that, that'd be what happens. Anyway, I'm feeling slightly energetic today while commentating, so we're gonna do some building to calm me down because I don't know. Uh, I have oak wood, yes. We have fences, yes. I did not want to do that. Uh, come back here. Thank you. Uh, bone meal. Spruce. Goose. Shovel. Axe. Pickaxe. Uh, food? Have I got food? I do. I, yeah, I have carrots and potatoes. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Um, um, what am I doing now? We're going to build a fence. But first, first, I want to show you what it actually looks like from the, uh, the, the, the house. Because why not? Also, before anyone asks, no, I've not done any more work anywhere else. This is literally what I've done in the last six days, because over the last six days, well, what what have I, well, actually, I guess seven days by the time this goes up, because by then, you know, I uploaded it on Monday, didn't I? Um, since then, I've really not been on any of the worlds. I haven't actually done much in Minecraft since then. Um, anyway, so with the upper level of this. I actually did a bit more work than I usually do with these. Usually I just kind of leave them blank, but why not decorate them up? It's got trees, it's got plants, it's got a waterfall. I'm actually going to bring over to this side. I just haven't dug that out yet. Uh, we've got stuff. Yeah, I like it. It's cool. I might put up like, I might honestly just build like a little lawn chair out here. <laughs> lawn chair, maybe build a small umbrella, just sit, watch the parasaurs because it's cool. Now, another reason uh, that if a vast majority, I guess, of this part of the exhibit is beyond what you will see. Um, little Lion King reference there, I guess. Um, but the reason for that is just because, well, I felt like it. I felt like I kind of want some of the exhibit to be kept from being seen usually because I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Is that how is that how far the ones on the Triceratops exhibit were? I don't remember. Uh, was it four? Or was it five? This still isn't going to match up very well. I might actually just extend the path. Okay, I can switch the pathway up. Yep, I've not put the stone in yet, which is the good thing because once I put the stone in, I don't want to change it because I hate having to go through stone that and uh, waste it because you know. Why waste resources when you cannot re wait waste resources waste resources? I can't English today. 
It might also be the fact that I have my volume turned off and that was making me <laughs> really weird. I don't know. Um, there was something I meant to talk about. What was it? Oh, oh, oh yeah, that, that um, video that happened recently. Um, is that four? No, it's five, it's five. Okay, we'll go with five then. Five will be the standard. Um, the, 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 the pick the series video. Um, they're the winners. The winners, I believe, are the two, well, the two definite ones were the Medieval series, the Medieval theme series, and the Jurassic Craft series, both of which will be hopefully starting sometime this month. I am not going to guarantee anything, though, because I am prone be lazy. And also, I thought I heard silverfish. I really don't like silverfish. Are there monsters under here? No, they're in there. I swear I lit that up, though. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I guess I'll have to light it up a bit better. Um, I'll need to dig this grass back, actually. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just kind of... There we go. Just dig the thing back here a bit. Give us more room for the fence. There's an Enderman somewhere. Wait, where is the Enderman? <laughs> I, I really want to know because I don't like Enderman. Endermen are spooky. Three. And then fence post. Break the leaves so they don't stay because I want them to deteriorate so I can build stuff. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Something about, yeah, I'll get, I will hopefully get around to setting up and recording all those, the two new series soon. Um, I can't guarantee when it will happen though, just simply because I am prone to, uh, I don't want to say cancel things. I'm not going to cancel them. That, that won't happen. Uh, but I am prone to put things off for a little bit if I feel like I can be slightly more prepared for it. Um, oh yeah, also last, I mean a good example is last week. Uh, I said there were hopefully going to be more dinos episodes and a wildlife park video, and there weren't. And one of the main reasons for the, there not being a wildlife park video actually was just because I really don't like the world at the moment. So the world needs to be fixed very slightly because for some reason it just looks terrible. The, there are some individual exhibits which are really good and I won't deny that, but there are some definite problems with it that I would very much like to fix. Wait, okay, so if the standard distance here is four blocks, then converting that, I mean, three from the fence then? Okay, so the fence, should, I guess, come out to, let's say here, distance from the fence. Uh, I'm just gonna map this out real quick so I get a better idea. Two, is two enough? No. Three? Wait, no, that that's like the exact place I had it before, isn't it? Okay, if you're standing here, relation to the fence. Um, the fence curved here. And you know what? We'll, we'll try and have the fence curve here. I don't know why I'm spending so much time doing this, but I am because, you know, we can tend to divert our attention slightly to smaller things. Anyway, so yeah, Jurassic Craft and the medieval series it's not going to be called medieval series because i want a better name for it than that um i do actually have a couple of questions though if anyone actually wants to uh help me with that basically just relating to which i guess edition of that series do you actually want to see i mentioned in that video oh we could do a couple different things with it we could have it be like a creative mode series similar to wildlife park and jurassic craft where we just go in creative and build the castle we could do a light mod pack or we could go the full out mod pack I don't know if I actually got any responses to that. Um, if I don't get if I don't get any, I'm gonna go with the full blown mod pack with like Lord of the Rings and stuff because I don't know. That sounds the most interesting to me. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that though. So yeah, that that's pretty much that. The Jurassic Craft thing, I guess I could ask a question with this. Well, and what kind of world do you guys want to see with that? A custom world, a super flat world, a regular Minecraft world? I mean, we could just go with like a base Minecraft world and build a park off of that. I don't know if you guys would want that though. Um, it all kind of just depends on uh, what you guys would be interested in seeing for that. 
I mean, a custom map would probably be the easiest way to do it, wouldn't it? Because with the custom map, I can uh, put in like custom mountain ranges and stuff, get everything put in that I want to be put in. Of course, though, I c actually, I mean, heck, I'm a good, I'm a decent enough terraformer and builder. I can probably build anything I really need to build. Yeah, actually. So yeah, let me just, I guess if you want to, let me know. If I don't, again, if I don't get any responses, I will just go with whatever was the last decent sounding idea I had. Uh, which will be the just default world we convert into a Jurassic Park world. Um, okay. So we've got one connection there, two fence posts here. We're gonna go for a third fence post in the diagonal. How much land do we have here actually? Uh, let me just build up a quick pillar. I don't honestly remember how much land there is beyond this point. I want this exhibit to be fairly large because I want to put many, many parasaur offices in. Uh, it does tend to taper off there. One more and then it's gonna go straight, okay. And then I think, I'm trying to figure out then what will be the uh, way to end the exhibit because I don't want it to be fence, well, it could be fence all the way. We could, we could pull up a Triceratops exhibit here and just simply, have the exhibit fence just kind of go off into the distance away from the path so that way you know the visitors aren't gonna follow it but you know there's there's an actual fully enclosed area one two three and fence post and now we just simply fill in some of these gaps because obviously we don't want our parasaurolophuses falling into a giant pit of death because that would be quite unfortunate indeed if they all fell and died um, let's just quickly get some of this deleted. <laughs> Man, I don't know. <laughs> I keep looking over to my microphone because I'm always very cautious in case I've forgotten to either hit the record button, if the microphone itself is muted, mainly just because I, I prefer not to re-record videos because they're never as good the second or third time I record them. Which has ha I think there was one case where I recorded a dinosaurs episode five times. The first time, I think I was like interrupted and I just kind of had to scrap it. Um, another time, uh, file corrupted. Another time, the, the audio didn't record. And then the other one, I think I just accidentally deleted or something. But there have been episodes like that which are very annoying because I have to I've had to record them so many times and then uh, it's just. Nasty, she's nasty. Um, oh, because I do this with the path because it gives it a slight curve, which I prefer over just a straight up flat path. Um, okay, so that's kind of the line of where the path will be. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that because that, that kind of <laughs> lets me know where the path is meant to be and where it isn't. Okay, now at this point, I guess it needs to go back to four. I'm not really sure why I'm putting the diagonal in then. Well, no, never mind. I remember why I'm putting the diagonal in because it uh, is meant to give the parasaur slightly more space by not, and also I don't have to do a 90 degree angle for the fence, which I really hate doing. I do not like 90 degree angles in my uh, fence builds. I really can't explain why. I just don't. I don't have my sword on me. Go away. Thank you. Okay. I thought I should have been over to the mob grinder I built. <laughs> I've not been over there in a while. I really should head over there sometime and uh, see any of the mob drops. And I built it in the wrong spot. Okay. Or I cut did the cutoff in the wrong spot. Um, there we go. That's the right spot for the cutoff. For the diagonal section. That, that looks slightly better, I think. <laughs> slightly better. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, and then it will one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five. I did I place that? Nope, that one's four blocks apart. I thought I messed up. Okay, uh, and then this one just moves over here. All right, let me just cut this tree down, cut away all the close to the fence trees because yes. Um, I'm trying to think. So something I've been talking about, obviously with you guys, with this uh, series and these exhibits we're gonna be doing, I have said I want 
there not to be too much of a view into the exhibit. Now, obviously, some of the exhibits are kind of breaking that. Actually, the best example of what I want to do is the Dilophosaurus, really, because there's only a small portion of the fence you actually get to look through, and then the rest is just, you know, fencing that the dinosaurs themselves are around. And I'm thinking this may actually just be the cutoff for the fence. This just may be what it is because, I mean, it's not a terribly large amount of fencing for to see through, but I mean, there's a, if I clear out some of the trees and make the exhibit a bit more like what I'm thinking, I think it's actually gonna look quite good. People pulling into a driveway because there was a bright like flash of light when the sun hit the car. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Eclectic uh, thinking today. Uh, la, 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 la. That's what I need. That cobblestone. Do I have more cobblestone? I have more cobblestone. Yay. Cobble. Cobble is probably. I was going to say the most useful block in my arsenal of building materials, but no. Probably dirt is the most useful, <laughs> surprisingly. And that's mostly just because I use a ridiculous amount of terraforming. Like, I, yeah, I think I mentioned that in a previous video, um, <laughs> that if you, like, when I, if, when I do a world download eventually for this world, which I don't know when that will be, it could be in, like, a month, it could be in two months, it could be at some point, I don't know, I've not quite figured out when I'm doing the world download for this world, it'll probably be, more, actually, it'll probably be more episode-based, maybe when we hit, like, episode 50, I'll do a world download, and then you guys can all come on here, and see what little bit of the park there is actually would be because i doubt there's going to be that much uh by that point but more than there is now so i guess that's good um what else oh no that's, that's what i was going to say was that the uh when you on my worlds you'd be hard pressed to find uh, an area of original terrain because I think by the end of most of my worlds, at least in the park area, I've uh, terraformed like 90% of it. Because, well, either the original terrain didn't suit my needs or I had to alter it in some way to make the exhibit look nicer. Which I guess means it just didn't suit my needs. It was either impractical to build over or I made it look pretty. That's slightly better. I should, should I, does it need to be up one more? I can't tell. Oh, I do actually need to get up here because, and I need a crafting table. Eh. <laughs> we've we've got a lot of blocks here. We can build a quick crafting table, and then do that and slabs. I, re I crafted way more than I need, but well, actually, than I need currently. I'll probably need these all later. Oh, I put these on top of the. Yeah. Okay. Because I think I am. I'm going to, what is it? Build the same kind of perimeter fence that I built for the Triceratops for this exhibit. Um, so the pathway will continue along here. Yeah, because then this is gonna be the lake. So it'll probably just kind of, the perimeter fence will then just kind of take it to part of the lake. Part of the lake will be sectioned off for the Parasaurs to go near. But then I think a, a vast majority of it will be kept from the Parasaurs because I don't know. It'd be cool to do kind of like a river ride, could wouldn't it? Well, okay, I said it'd be cool, but with boats not working super well, I don't think it would work. Oh, the, that fence wasn't a viewing fence. I just realized the last fence I built was not a viewing fence, was it? No, that was a containment fence. Um, we'll, we'll try some stuff out. I think the best idea when building a fence that's kind of meant to be with a containment fence and a viewing fence is don't ever put anything at the very top unless it's like a six block high fence because, or the terrain is all below because otherwise you can't see into the exhibit and especially if there's things above and yeah, I'm not explaining this super well. Uh, I might need to make this one taller. I don't know. I really don't. Hmm. I'm just gonna run over because it. I'm gonna need to sleep in a minute. <laughs> in game, not real life. Don't know why I made that clarification, but sure. I am. My brain is confused. I think it's that I've not done this in a week. And when you realize there's the square sun, and then there's that 
I'm assuming that's just a still texture from the uh, blah, 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 the texture pack I'm using. That it's that adds in the uh, pretty sky. I like the sky from this texture pack. It's very nice looking, I think. I don't know though. Let's just hop up here. And if it says you cannot sleep now, good. <laughs> I was gonna say it's dark enough. Um, ba da da. Actually, I want to see what the, these uh, fence looks. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I forgot you can actually see this entire area from the window up here. I like it. That is going to be really cool to see the Parasaurolophus from up here. However, if they're anything like... I'm getting like the hiccups now as well. If they're anything like the uh, Parasaur... If they're anything like I remember them, they're probably going to be a regret of keeping them so close to my house because this is where I spend a lot of time collecting resources and planning ideas out. So if they're like the sheep or cows, in which case they're very loud and highly irritating while in close proximity, this may have been a terrible, terrible choice. Ah, but we'll live with it. We will live with it, potentially. Or I'll just change it out and replace it later. Um, let's see. I'm just going to stick with the containment fence today, I think. I think this is <laughs> pretty much all we're going to do in today's episode because I just realized I actually have to do some stuff soon, which means I'm going to probably need to cut this episode short. Uh, you know, we can go for a little bit longer. I think I'll just go with the containment fence for now, though, until I can come up with a better design because then at least there will be, there'll be something here and I can plan the rest of the exhibit off of this until a better fence idea comes along. And I can actually see how this will look compared to the rest. I mean, maybe it's not as bad looking as I think it is. Let's see. No, that's pretty bad looking. Yeah. I mean, you'd only see the Parasaurolophus if they came right up to the fence. Okay, I will rethink how I'm doing this. Yeah, I've got to rethink how I'm going to do this. Uh, but I think I'll leave that for... Oh gosh. Ah. <laughs> Why are you? Ooh. Unbreaking tunic. Coolio. <laughs> well, um, I think we're going to end today's episode off here. Bit of a weird episode, I guess, in terms of commentary. I don't usually feel this eccentric or uh, my brain is actually fried now, I guess. Energetic. That's the word. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed at least seeing what i i've been working on uh next episode i will either we're going to work on that fence or we're just going to work on building the rest of the perimeter fence and then we will hatch the parasaurolophuses finally but until then guys thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed and until next time see ya